हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक इन सब्जेक्ट सर्विंग चैप्टर नंबर टू थियोरलाइट ट्रावर्स सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज अ एरर्स इन थियोरलाइट सो हियर इन ऑल दी सर्विंग वर्क्स देर आर दी सम ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंटल एरर पर्सनल एरर एंड नेचुरल एरर दिस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द एरर इन ऑल द इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ द सर्वे और ऑल द वर्क ऑफ द सर्वेइंग वर्क so here there are the main three types of the error in uh, theodolite work first is a instrumental error second is a personal error third one is a natural error so here one by one we discuss on it uh, uh, in the next slide uh, in a g2 examination these type of the question ask like uh, analyze the errors in a theodolite work and uh, explain me one or two in detail so here let's we start with a uh, first one instrumental error so here name indicate instrumental error so error is generated by the instrument so it's called a instrumental error so like uh, here instrument is damaged or uh, graduation is not perfect so etc some of the problem in a instrument and uh, when we take a reading so error is generated so it is called a instrumental error so here some of the points is given for the instrumental error first one is a error due to imperfect adjustment of the plate so here your plates is uh, theolite uh, plates is not perfectly uh, adjust so here small mistake is there in a adjustment so here error is generated in a angle next is a error due to line of collimation not being perpendicular to the horizontal axis means here line of collimination uh, and uh, vertical axis and horizontal axis both are not a perpendicular to each other so generate a angular error it's called a instrumental error now next is a error due to horizontal axis not being perpendicular to vertical axis so it's a one of the instrumental error then after error due to line of collimation and axis of telescope not being parallel so here line of collimation and axis of telescope both are parallel to each other without any uh, deflection so it is called a uh, true setup but here if the both the line of collimation and telescope is not a uh, parallel to each other so it's a instrumental error and error due to eccentricity of uh, inner and outer axis and uh, error due to imperfect graduation so here in a graduation horizontal and vertical disc is graduated with a angle uh, angle is uh, measured in a degree minute and seconds so here uh, all the angles are not perfectly graduated or a marking problem or uh, in between two angles uh, graduation distance is uh, larger or shorter so here imperfect uh, graduation it's a instrumental error now second type of the error is a personal error so here name indicate personal means if any person take a readings so due to person's mistake error is generated so it's called a personal error so here inaccurate centering so here main three points are there centering leveling and focusing so here if uh, any surveyor uh, does not uh, uh, level perfect or a centering perfect so error is generated due to imperfection in a surveyor so here inaccurate centering second is a inaccurate leveling and uh, manipulating wrong target screw and uh, inaccurate uh, sighting ranging road is not a vertical uh, and uh, parallax so it's a bisection is not possible so these are the personal error uh, in a theolite traverse now next is a natural error so here name indicate natural so due to naturally error is generated like uh, unequal expansion of a part of telescope and uh, circle due to temperature changes like in a summer season if uh, we survey the entire area so here due to higher temperature 
expansion of the telescope part is uh, done so this due to this expansion some of the error is generated in a angle and a unequal atmospheric uh, reflection due to high temperature and a strong wind causes a vibration uh, due to like a strong wind so vibration is generated in a, a theodolite and move the theodolite uh, uh, small movement uh, is done in a theodolite so it's a strong wind causes vibration generate a natural error and uh, unequal settlement of a tripod because uh, or entire land is not a perfectly leveled so unequal settlement of the tripod natural energy is generated now here next topic we start is a theodolite traversing so in this method a framework of a survey line is prepared in an area to be surveyed and there are the two types of the uh, traverse first one is a open traverse and second one is a closed traverse so here there are two type uh, of the methods apply for making the traverse uh, first one is a traverse by included angle and uh, traverse by deflection angle so here uh, first we prepare a traverse by included angle so uh, here north direction is marked and in this method the bearing uh, method the magnetic uh, magnetic bearing of the line is measured with the theodolite so here n and so the north direction is a mark in a north direction then after all the included angle are also measured and the following procedure are adopted for a traverse in a anti-clockwise direction so select the survey station pqrst and insert a peg on a station so here we uh, insert a peg on p q r s and t then after set up the instrument at a station P so here we set the instrument at station P then after orient the telescope in a magnetic meridian and determine the bearing of the magnetic initial line PQ so here PQ line this line is measured with respect to north direction and this angle is measured and no direction then after pq line this angle is measured and then after set the one year at a, a zero and take a back side on a station a so here uh, take a back side set the one year here at a zero and then after take a back side t is a uh, bisect the t point and take a reading on a vernier a then after lose the upper plate and turn the telescope in a clockwise direction and take the foresight to the station q so here then after turn the telescope and bisect the q point and we measure the this angle clear and then after one year reading of the uh, interior angle t p q is measured uh, on a window a and similarly shift the uh, theodolite at uh, another point q point r point s point t point etc and same procedure is repeated for uh, all the points and we measure the interior angle now then after traverse by deflected angle so here this method is generally used in a an open traverse and uh, it is suitable for a traverse uh, road railway canal pipeline etc so here the procedure is that set up the instrument at a uh, p point this point p point set up the instrument then after second step is that uh, level it accurately and measure the bearing line pq so here north direction is there so pq line this angle is measured then after shift the instrument at a uh, station Q and level it accurately shift the instrument at a Q point and level it perfectly and then after unclamp the lower plate and take the back side on a station P so we um, back side take a station P 
and then after plus uh, plus the telescope and uh, the line side will be direct uh, direction of the pq then after this pq line is extended and uh, plus the telescope and take the reading on a one year a will be zero and release the upper clamp and turn the telescope in a clockwise direction in this direction and bisect the r station point so at that time we measure the angle this angle this color deflection angle clear so similarly this procedure is applied for r point and up to s point so here this uh, angle is called a deflection angle now next uh, topic we start a traverse computation so here latitude and departure so both these things are uh, very important and uh, latitude departure example also asked in a g2 examination so here latitude so the latitude of the survey line may uh, line any uh, may be defined as a coordinate length measured parallel to assume meridian direction so here l small l is a length of the line ab and theta is a an angle of a line with a north south line so here and when l capital l latitude of the line is measured toward the north it is uh, term as a uh, northing and uh, it is take as a positive and uh, latitude l of the line measure towards south it is term as a southing and uh, it is taken as a negative so here see this uh, figure here four quadrant is there so here first plus sign seen is a latitude and a minus sign is seen departure so in a north direction latitude is positive and in a south direction latitude is negative similarly in a each direction departure is positive this one this one and in a west direction departure is negative so here ab line is there so here latitude and departure both are latitude and departure both are positive because it's in a first quadrant if the line is here so latitude is negative and departure is positive similarly if the line ab at here so latitude and departure both are negative and if the uh, line at uh, this quadrant fourth quadrant so latitude and departure both are in a latitude is positive and the departure is negative so here departure what is departure so the departure of the survey line may be defined as it's a coordinate length measure perpendicular to the meridian direction so departure l is equal to l sin theta and when departure d is line measure toward the uh, each direction so it's a positive and uh, departure measure in a west direction it's a negative so we are already discussed here departure so the second positive and here plus sign so the departure here minus sign so the dep uh, departure and here minus sign so the departure it means in a each direction departure is positive and in a uh, west direction in a west direction departure is negative so in a, a next lecture we discuss on a closing error so today we here complete our topic. Thank you.